In this video, we shall consider the chain rule. What the chain rule does is it allows us to take the derivative of a composition of functions. So, let k of x be the composition f of g of x. Furthermore, we shall assume sorry, not f, g of x of I'm sorry, x plus h minus g of x is not zero. For all h that is close to zero. And if we take a look at k prime, this is the limit. As h goes to 0, k of x plus h minus k of x all over h. Which is the limit f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x all over h. Now the key here, we are going to multiply by g of x plus h minus g of x, both numerator and denominator. Write it this way. Because now we can write this as two different limits. have this first limit here, then we will have this limit. However, this limit, the second limit here, is simply g prime. This means that all we have to do is figure out what this first limit is. So to do that, we shall let n be g of x plus h minus g of x. Notice that this means g of x plus h is m plus g of x. Now, as h approaches 0, notice that m also approach zero. Therefore, limit as h approach zero f of g of x plus h minus f of g of x over g of x plus h minus g of x is now the limit as m 
approaches zero. F of g of x plus m minus f of g of x all over m. If we now let y be g of x, then we can rewrite this limit. F of y plus m minus f of y all over m, and that limit would be f prime of y. But since y is g of x, this is f prime of g of x. Now all we have to do is multiply this limit by the previous limit. Right, so up here, we've now found that this limit is f prime of g of x. And we get the chain rule, which states Let f of x and g of x be differentiable functions. And the derivative of f of g of x. equal to f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So we take the derivative of the outer function and multiply it by the derivative of the inner function. Now look at several examples. We're given f of x is 1 over 3x squared plus 1 quantity squared. Now first let's rewrite this. 3x squared plus 1 to the minus 2. Now if we were to write this, as a composition of functions. Our g of x x to the minus 2 h of x is 3x squared plus 1. So notice that f of x is g of h of x. Now, by the chain rule, f prime of x is g prime of h of x times h prime of x. So, g prime of x is a simple power rule. It's negative 2x to the minus 3. h prime of x. 6x. Now we just plug those into f prime. So g prime is negative 2. Now h is 3 x squared plus 1 raised to the minus 3 power. Then that has to be multiplied by h prime. So we wind up with negative 12x all over 3x squared plus 1 cubed. We are now given f of x equals 2x plus 1 to the fifth power times 3x minus 2 to 
the seventh power. Now what we need to do here is overall this is a product rule. So remember, project rule says we take the first function and multiply it by the derivative of the second function. So second function overall is going to be a power rule. 7 times 3x minus 2 to the 6th power. Now chain rule says we need to look at that inner function and take its derivative, which is 3. Plus, now we take the second function and multiply it by the derivative of the first function. Again, overall, we have a power rule, so it'll be 5 times 2x plus 1 to the fourth power. And chain rule says take the derivative of that inside function. Now it's just a matter of simplifying everything. 21 times 2x plus 1 to the 5th, times 3x minus 2 to the 6th, plus 10 times 2x plus 1 to the 4th, times 3x minus 2 to the 7th, we are now able to factor out a 2x plus 1 to the 4th power, and a 3x minus 2 to the 6th power. We are left with 21 times 2x plus 1 plus 10 times 3x minus 2. Leave the first two functions alone, alone, sorry, do not worry about expanding. We will have a 42x plus 21 plus 30x minus 20. Seventy two X plus one. So that would be our true, and again, just leave it like that. There's no need to expand it. And as a final example. We have the function f of x equals x over 3x plus 2 to the fifth power. So f prime of x here. Overall, we have a power rule. 5 times the quantity of x over 3x plus 2 raised to the fourth power. Now, chain rule says we have to look at that inside function and take its derivative. Well, that is a quotient rule. So, denominator times the derivative of the numerator minus the numerator times the derivative of the denominator all over the denominator squared. So we're going to have a 3x plus 2 minus 3x in the numerator Now let's take that fourth power and distribute it through so we'll have 5 times x to the fourth over 
3x plus 2 to the 4th, then times 2 over 3x plus 2 squared. This becomes 10x to the 4th over 3x plus 2 to the 6th. And this will be our derivative. And with that, our video on the chain rule has come to an end. In the next video in this series, we'll be looking at taking the derivative of functions that involve exponentials and logarithms.